All the girl things, pube hairs and tight rings. I'll take one lift, you're right, best trip. Always I know you'll swallow, watching, waiting, masturbating. Say it so, I'll definitely go. I'll take your pants off, lick your bum, holy, 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 yo, bum, holy, 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 yo. Late night, come home. She sucks, I know. She leaves me panties by the stairs. Surprises, let me know she cares. Say it so, I'll definitely go. I'll take your phone off, lick your bum, holy, 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 oh, bum, holy, 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 oh. Yo, yo, yo. How is everybody doing? It's Gold Tooth. Today, what I'm going to be doing is playing a game that I haven't played for absolutely years, probably since I was a kid. I remember this game coming out and I was blown away. I was like, what is this? And as you can see by the title, it's done after a film which I used to really, really enjoy being young. I haven't seen the films in, oof, fuck knows how many years, well too long. But some people remember games with rose tinted glasses, you know, and yeah, I sometimes do it myself. So I haven't got a clue how this game is going to play, how it's going to look, but I do remember it was shit hot. So, what I will do, I will do a playthrough, and I'll probably use one life, maybe. Yeah, we'll say one life, see how far I can get. I'm not expecting to get very far. But yeah, reminisce with me on Die Hard, on the PC Engine. Let's go. Die Hard, PC Engine, let's go. Stage one. Oh, it's as good as I remembered. That bit at the bottom is saying John McLean. I'll leave him in pain. I'll leave him walking like John Wayne. Let's go. And yeah, the movement is pretty weird. But this might not make no sense, but it feels retro and it moves retro and so far it's got that feel to it where yeah it's making me love it honestly and how can you not appreciate john mclean in that white vest absolutely rocking that bad boy and i do remember that the more your health goes down your vest rips and you're sort of like ooh, come and look at me ladies I'm bleeding, I've got a ripped vest. Come check this shit out, you know? And yeah, absolutely classy so far. So it hasn't let me down, which I'm kind of surprised it hasn't because it has been a long time. I remember this game coming out. Um, oh, I've got Bazooka. I don't know, maybe I was 13, 14, something like that. Um, I do remember the Nintendo version coming out after and I played the Nintendo version because I had to and I was like, oh no, I feel a bit disappointed. If I'd have played the Nintendo version first, I might have been, yeah, might have been a different game. I might have been, look, I do like it and had a bit of love for that, but I kind of don't because this, for me, just, yeah... It was absolutely brilliant. I used to mention to kids at the time because the shop where I worked, they'd only got a few copies of this in. Um, I know a guy that used to travel from down south come. He used to purchase near enough every new release every week. So I know he picked one up. I remember that. I don't know who picked the other one up, but everybody that I used to mention, even a lot of people that used to own PC engines that I used to know, they'd never played this. And I'm like, really? And we're like, yeah, yeah, I've never played it. I'm like, it's, it's unreal. And I spoke to quite a few um, people over the years and we still haven't played it. And at least now, I can sort of tell them, look, I've been back, I've played it, and I still think it's really worth a go, you know. But it's rocket launch, it's absolutely mashing them. Yeah, I've kind of got a shield up. So, 
You might not be to hear my buttons that much, hopefully. That's the aim anyway. Might hear some bits of clicking, but should be good. So yeah, you can come into these sort of like rooms and believe your weapons or med kits or body armour. So it's definitely worth checking out. I can't remember what's exactly in them now. It's been a long time. But yeah, I do remember that if you fall into those sinkholes, yeah, it's game over. It's, yeah, you're having to continue if you fall down one of them. So yeah, I've got to be careful with those. But yeah, the weapons, the graphics, how it looks, how it plays, for me, yeah, it's made my day because it's lived up to how I remembered. Ooh, if you squint and look from a distance, it's John McLean. Yes, stage two. Ooh, swamp fever. Oh yeah, it's took my armour off, you little punk. But yeah, the variety of weapons as well. It's classy. You can choose to pick them up. You can choose not to. Sometimes it's hard because you'll get close and you'll actually pick up a weapon by accident. But it don't really matter anyway because it's not like other games where you've got unlimited sort of shots. You can see on my bottom right, but it tells me how many uh, bullets I've got. But this rocket launcher absolutely munches them. Oh, rocket launcher against rocket launcher. Come on, then. One thing I do remember is this swamp, or whatever it is. I'm not going to get out. Yeah, I knew I won't. I was just about to say that. I know I wasn't going to get out without finding a dead end because it is a bit like a maze. I think even when I played it quite a bit back in the day, I often used to uh, take a wrong uh, turn in. But it don't really matter because we're not too far away from where you need to go anyway. All adds to a bit of fun. All adds to a bit more carnage. And to be honest, it's a perfect uh, place to kill them. You know what I mean? Well, bodies might float up to the top sooner or later, but... Yeah, until then, we are good. Look at that, look, think I'm playing Call of Duty with jump shots. Yeah, the movement on it is, is like I say, different. It, it's hard to explain, but it feels really retro, but in a really, really good way. Yeah. So I can finally say to other people, now look, in 2022, if you haven't played Die Hard on the PC Engine, go play it. Because for me... I think even a lot of these young kids who are not into retro could pick this up, give it a go and be like, yes. Don't get me wrong with other people out there saying, I don't like it, I don't like it. Well, they can go chew a wiener. Because if you take it for what it is, there's no way you can deny this isn't a decent game. And it, yeah, it might not follow to the film. Who gives a shit, man? It's fucking John McClane. And I told you earlier, I leave him in pain walking like John Wayne. That's how I do. What am I getting from here? Ooh, four guys waiting for me, is there? I think it is a gangbang. Get the fuck out of here. So, them bottle things that you pick up. I still remember this. I first thought, like, when I picked them up uh, back then, that I thought those, like, hand grenades, but they're not the health. So, yeah, I'm guessing it's like a medicine bottle or something. Oof! Rocket launcher! Give three guys for the price of one bullet, and that is stage two complete. We're doing all right, to be fair. Not to say one life. Yeah, we'll see how far we get. Stage three. Ooh, I remember this level. Right, now, this level, I sort of never will forget which way to go. Because I do remember, and it is embedded in my head that there's two doors one left one right is it here i don't know i know there's two doors and you can either go left or right and depending on which way you go 
it can take you to different levels, but it won't take you out. You won't finish the levels. He could just keep going and keep going and keep going on a repeat. So there is a certain pattern how to actually beat the level. And yeah, when you played it as much as I did as a kid, yeah, it's something like that you won't forget. Like, same when you play Mario. You know, Super Mario World, you don't forget where the sort of like swoop unders are and yeah, the secret levels are. It's a bit like that to be fair. Or hope it is anyway. I hope I'm not talking shit so it should be the first door. Yeah. Yeah. Should be alright. Yeah, I remember that if you go. Oh, some more armour. Come and get some, son. These suckers are wild. You sort of like gotta jump up and shoot them. Yep. <laughs> Ooh, baby. Yeah, I can't remember what colour it is. I think it's like a sandy coloured level. I think if you get to a sandy coloured level, I think you're taking the wrong route. I think. Don't quote me on that. But yeah, this time it's right. Yep, yep, definitely. But yeah, it's just a really, really fun game. You know, where you could pick up, you could probably play for half an hour and just feel good. Just feel good. And it doesn't even matter if you've got no memories of this game. It's really, really good. That's my opinion anyway. I might be just jerking all over it for nothing. But yeah, I really, really do enjoy this game. And can you imagine this on PC Engine? In 90. Yeah, we're in 1990. 1991, something like that. Absolutely unbelievable. But one thing I will say is that when I purchased it originally, the cover didn't sell what it was. You know, it's just a gun on the side with like a metal steel background type of thing. And yeah, it, it didn't sell the game. And it should have done really. I don't know. What was cracking, obviously, they must have got licensed because they've got sort of like Bruce Willis sort of like screenshots, haven't they? And character looks like that John McClane, so yeah, they've got right, so why not use his face on cover? You never know. You might want to like loads of money for his uh, rugged good looks. <laughs> but yeah, let's go, oh, you absolute punk. That's it. Flamethrower was decent as well. Right, now if this is correct, I'm sure it's correct, because I'm sure screen goes grey or beige. Yeah, it should be at the end of here. Hopefully. If not, chaps, and I keep alive, we might be on this for a good long while. Jump for your love, John McLean. Oh, come on, man. Yes. Yeah, down to the little touches, though. You know, when obviously your health depletes and you rip your shirt and stuff. Just down to the little details like that. The music's good, but I say it suits the game. No, not really. But it's all right, you know? Yeah, that was a bit of waste of time going in there. That's it, keep going. That's it, keep going. Right, that should be it, I think. If we've done it right. You yeah, boy! All day! I could have been on that stage all day! If I took wrong doors. But I haven't, stage four. Oh shit, yeah, I remember this level. It's proper madness. This is a bit like a maze again. And I'll be honest, it's a bit like the swamps where, yeah, no matter how many times I played it, I probably didn't know which way to go, but we'll see if we can figure it out. 
Nobody puts John McClane in a cage. Hard facts. Oh, I ain't got the bullets left. It's so moment to punch him. Poof! I tell you what, though, that punch is funky, innit? it? You know? Yes. Knock your front teeth out, boy. Yeah, I feel like a caged animal. If I don't want to see the animal uncaged, I'll do the. I don't know. But we'll see. Come on, Rocket Launcher. Get him 11, pal. Oh, baby. Oh, I'm on proper health at minute. Yeah, it's still not too bad. Right, where you at? Come on. Oh, these enemies are coming thick and fast. Shit, man. Get out of here. Tell you what, though, say I haven't played this since. Oof, I don't know. Guessing 92, 93. Ain't done too bad for one life, I suppose, you know. But this is the type of game where they could have put in arcade quite easily. And the graphic style and the gameplay would have fit in absolutely beautiful. Because I've mentioned that, yeah, there's quite a lot of games that this kind of looks like, but. I don't know if it's for me, but this game still kind of looks like, you know, when we do remasters of an old game, it kind of looks like it's already been remastered to me. Yeah. Same that though, I think I'm just hard, but I'm playing die hard. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Oh, shit. Come on. Oh, oh, you absolute punk. Oh, trying to whack me with his big girth. I've got my girth stick. Look at him, he's chatting some shit. Yeah, oh, he's got me, hasn't he? Right. Oh, fuck. But yeah, people, die hard.